back to the channel. This is Book Club. I'm Mia. I'm Alyssa. And this week we read... <gasps> <laughs> we read Deep Water by... Who is it by? Patricia Let's Highsmith. Go. Patricia Highsmith. Okay. And it's rating? 4.75. Wow, we're just going to give it a 5. What's your why? No, I don't even know. I don't even have a gripe. Oh my god. I, you know me. I just can't give it a full five. I have to wait for that perfect book where I'm like, five. this is a five. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I literally had no complaints about it. I liked the way it was written. Mm -hmm. I liked the characters. Even I was, the ones that I didn't like. Yeah, like, yeah. I, you made me, yeah. They had some, they had, it was a lot of character development. Like, they all had their own things. Mm -hmm. Okay, not me just putting, okay, this was sexy as my first note. What did it mean? I don't find him attractive, please, and I don't. <laughs> no, I have to explain. Let me explain the one time I said this. You know what? You know what? Okay, I'm going to give my one, like, gripe, I guess, that I have with it. Okay, let me see if it's the same thing that I'm thinking it could be. I was really mad at Vic for going back to the quarry. And checking the fucking body. I That was a very stupid move of him. Okay. And I didn't believe that he would make that. Okay. But I also feel that maybe he was just at the end of his fucking sanity. And was like, you know what, let me just go check. Let me just go check. I gotta go yeah. down there and see what's up. And I was so mad that he didn't see through, completely through what Melinda was trying to do. No, but he thought he saw his sweater or his jacket. Mm -hmm. And from up there, I'd be like, fuck, I gotta go bury that again. He went with the intention of hiding evidence. So it wasn't like, I'm going back to just feel some type of way no yeah. my thing was though is that he already like was suspicious of melinda so when mm. she told him can you go back and get my scarf no no yeah. i would have not have gone well back. no but then she was like you don't have to like she didn't say go get my scarf she was like oh i left my scarf and he was like i'll go get it because he knew he had to fix that whole issue that he was having which wasn't even an issue it was some paper what was it a paper towel roll? i don't know what the fuck it was <laughs> and a paper towel roll <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I hated that he did that. I was so, in my head, I was literally screaming, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is exactly what it, her and Don want. I understand what you mean, but it was also valid because if I thought that there was more evidence down there, I'd be like, fuck, they're really investigating. They're going to go see it. There's going to be his blood. That's possibly his jacket. Then they're going to send divers in there. Then they're going to find him. But... Then I would have been like, so what? You can't prove that I was there. <laughs> what that got to do with me? What that got to do with me? Because he did what he did. He did what he needed to. I thought <laughs> I'm a big apologist. I don't care. I'm not. Melinda I thought was, we all were. Okay. Hold on. Let's <laughs> let's jot down the fact. Hold on. I don't want to skip this part. I thought your one gripe with the book was going to be that, um, not that he left Trixie, but he's no, going yeah. to jail and he left Trixie. And yeah, they had the Trixie. craziest, like, good relationship. The relationship? It was so funny because I think Trixie technically was, like, a little mini version of him, I like know. he said. She was so cute. She, she was on the six, her. first of all. I loved and her. The way she, she was so smart. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, she okay. really was her father because her mother was a dumb bitch. And I'm so mad that technically she would be left with Melinda. Yeah. So, like, I, well, mm -hmm. actually, no. She's dead. Melinda's dead. No, yeah. So, so she, they abandoned. <laughs> they're done. They're dying. <laughs> well, he, even his last thought was, like, she can go to my little friends. Which, Horace is a real one. For real? Uh, <laughs> all those people were, like, I just all spit at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone was a real them. one. I was dying at the fact that literally everyone was like, he would, he would never. never. And I've known him for 10 years, and I hate that bitch, Melinda. Like, so, even if he did, he didn't. Yeah. They're like, we hate her. Okay, but true. I'm Mary. She was like, I really want to like both of you. <laughs> oh, wait, but, did he tell? I think, like, Horace told him that he said that. Whatever. And I would just change their names. Like, what's it? <laughs> oh, but I mean, for the time that it was written, like, I get all the names. No, I yeah, I get all the names, too. They were good names. It made sense for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But. <laughs> Speaking of the time, there was a little very quick sentence in here that I read, and I was like, racist? And then I kind of kept what reading. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> racist? Question mark? It's this one. Okay, she, somebody, or I think Vic, when Vic is first kind of introduced to Charlie, Mm -hmm. Delisle, okay, he's talking about the way he looks, and so Horace says that he looks Italian, uh -huh. and then just the passage underneath that, he says, 
He resembled no particular race, only an amalgamation of the worst elements of various Latin peoples. <laughs> and I was like, what? Racist? What does okay. that mean? Okay, okay, okay. I understand. I read that and I was, I read it again and then I was like, I don't know. Is this racist? racist? <laughs> I oh, literally, racist? literally had the same thought. And then I was like, is it? Because he's saying it's just the worst things of people. And I was like, then he's thinking no, about worst, worst things, things of pe- la- specifically <laughs> Latin, specific Latin people. Latin people. So I was <laughs> like, Jillian Flynn actually wrote a book club discussion question for this book. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay. If you don't know who that is, that's the author of Gone Girl. I know everyone knows who it is, but I don't know her name. Like, I never knew her name. You know? Mm-hmm. And her first, like, little thing that she said in this article was, quote, it's not easy being married to a sociopath, end mm-hmm. quote. And I said, oh my god, was Vic the problem here? Like, death. I was like, I was, for him. I was cheering for him. I was cheering for him. Not, like, I know, obviously, like, the book is like, oh, he's bad. Like, I know. But I was like, am I supposed to like Melinda? And I'm sp- am I supposed to care that these guys are dead? Because I, I don't. Am I supposed to sympathize with Melinda because yeah, I don't? I don't. Like, I get he's the bad guy, but I liked it. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I did not care. he was fed up. And anybody in that position, maybe not anybody in that position, would just go and kill their what, their spouse's lovers. But I a mean, lot of he people had would. put up with so much shit already mm-hmm. from her that I think he was literally just at a boiling point. To and I point. wasn't surprised when he did. No, but I, okay, I knew it was happening. I knew it was going to come up. Mm-hmm. But when I was reading it, then I was like, it just happened in, like, everyone was there. <laughs> Two seconds. Like, yeah. they're inside, babe. You didn't even look you around for a sec. You're like, you just did it. Just, okay, but valid. Fair. <laughs> he was like, I'm going to pull that bitch. Can't even swim. <laughs> <laughs> I, Melinda started pissing me off when she was like, immediately, she's like, you killed him. And I was like, I was like, baby, stop. 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 <laughs> Because everyone around her was like, shut the fuck up. Why yeah. would you say that about Why her? Why would you say that about my friend? It was so funny that everyone around yeah. her hated her. They it's did true. not like her. It's because she was, I don't, oh, God, God, someone's going to, I'm going to cancel myself. She was such a hysterical woman. woman. Oh, no, she was. I was like, <laughs> her lovers have died, but she was hysterical about Come it. Come on now. First of all, what was the, what was the last bitch's name? Timothy? Timmy? Tim? What's Tommy. 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 Tommy? I was like, girl, you knew him for a month, and she's like crying over him. I'd be like, fuck, he's gone. Because, you know. (laughs) (laughs) No, No, but honestly, I I know that, like, obviously, in this situation, I think I would be like, okay, Vic is obviously murdering these bitches. (laughs) That was another thing, is that I was like, okay, Vic kills Melinda in the end. I think she was just such a stupid woman, because after the second lover that he killed, I would have been like, holy shit like he's actually killing them what is gonna stop him from doing it to me no but wait what (laughs) i lost my thought (laughs) god damn it Uh, don't be sorry i was literally going off of your thought and then i was like i lost it (laughs) (laughs) the way it's gone like it was literally i was like my idea and then i don't even know my idea second thought that's why oh okay okay did vic kill the first guy i thought it was just him being like funny and then they found that the real guy who did it and like confessed to it oh no no that was just like that they found yeah. the actual bitch he didn't okay. kill that bitch yeah yeah so then he just killed two bitches mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay first question and this is from julian flynn mm-hmm. she said what do you think is at the core of melinda and vic staying together what is it that's keeping them united when they're so clearly at war with each other? That's a great fucking question because I have no fucking idea. Okay. I was so mad at both of them for just not calling it quits. I mean, I guess for the time it was like, <gasps> Wait, no. that was my second. Oh, no, what? Not. What? Okay, when he was like, do you want to divorce me? Like, you could leave. Oh, yeah. Why the fuck? Sh- if she was that scared or if she loved all those, liked all those guys, I would have been like, yeah. yeah, you're going to pay me? I'm and, gonna yeah, you're going to give me a salary? And like, was like, okay, bye. And you don't need to have any responsibility for Trixie. Like, I'm going to take care of her. Like, she Wait. gave you the way out. Just yeah. take it. Yeah. Just take it. But for the question, mm. I don't know. I feel like they were both kind of that crazy. Like, 
she wanted so badly to get him. Mm-hmm. And at the end, she did get him, but what did it cost her her goddamn life? Yeah. She's dead. Very true. Was she's it worth dead. it? No, because you're dead now, and you yeah. can't whore around And she could have just been a whore. She could have just been a single little whore. Literally. Then that would have been like, okay, go. Literally, go ahead. But you're hurting people in the process. Like, your daughter even knew once you bring people around, she was like, oh, I know what this is. I know. Your daughter at six years old knew you were a whore. <laughs> and not in a good way. And I... I actually liked that when I think Vic was taking her a bath or something, and she was like, Dad, all my friends are saying that you killed you him. Did it. I'm like, did you do it? And did she's like you? smiling and laughing. Mm-hmm. And like, you could obviously see his thoughts or mm-hmm. read his thoughts, and he's like, She wants me to be the killer or something. Like, I'm the hero because of all the shows and the TV and stuff. And I was like, It's true. Like, yeah. this bad guy is coming into our family. It's funny that you bring that up because as I was reading that, I was wondering if. Those were just kind of his sociopathic thoughts that were like, you want me to be the hero. Okay. Because he's crazy and yeah. he was thinking that. But yeah. also when she's like laughing and smiling, she's like, he killed him and he's not dying. I was like, I think is that's also this? just kind of how children are. So like it, it was probably easy to make him feel that way. <laughs> okay. 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 Very valid. It could be both though. Yeah. Man, I'm just like thinking about it too much, but like thinking about it from like he is a literal sociopath. He's crazy. So... <laughs> He does need a lot of psychological evaluations. Mm-hmm. Wait, so you just didn't know what what kept them together? I like really that was just don't. Your final answer. I don't yeah. know. I just thought they were the same crazy, and actually, like wanting to get back at each other. Yeah. That's exhausting. Are, not even just wanting to get back at each other, but just like. I like being in front of people and saying things that only you understand, and we're like just blowing each other. <laughs> <laughs> throwing blows at each other, you know? Like, he'll be like, what the fuck will he say? I don't yeah. know, he just said some shit. And then she's just like, well, I guess I'm supposed to say that too. And then they like that. Like, I don't know, though. They were super weird. Oh, and that bitch, Don. Oh, yeah. The, I was yeah. like, can you fucking mind me? Like, <laughs> why are you so off? invested? Literally why not. are you so, like, <laughs> I would have just been like, girl, your husband killed him and you know that and we know that. But well, obviously, I'm I don't want to get you. murdered. <laughs> Exactly. Like, and my wife is literally like, babe, you're not crazy. Like, yeah, like, so relax. many people around them were gaslighting when we were down. Like, I every know. Time. I know, and I was doing it too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I was oh, so he's a great father and a great person. Leave him alone. God damn. I'm like, if you want to leave so bad, he's telling you to leave. He's telling you to divorce Then me. leave. Then like, leave for real. Then you could literally <laughs> have. You wouldn't have anything holding you back from acting the way you wanted to act, Truly. being who you with, being with who you wanted to be with. Truly. Like, just why are we here? <clears throat> the I wanted to bring this up just because you looked at me all crazy when I was like, "That's oh. sexy." Mm-hmm. Not so much <laughs> him. I would never like when I picture him. I don't picture someone sexy, and I don't picture. I picture a sociopath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, when he was like, and she's with this man. At least, I wish she's with someone who's, like, better looking than me or something. Mm-hmm. Like, she's with this ugly-ass man. Like, I have to kill him, basically. And I was like... Valid. Okay, well, go off, baby. If you think he's ugly, go ahead and kill him. I just be with somebody hotter, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> you don't kill them. My problem, too, was that you just bring... His his problem, we have the same problem, is that she <laughs> would bring around bitches that were, like, not up to his level. Mm-hmm. And maybe not even more handsome than him, because I don't remember any of them being described as handsome. No, they were all described as being ugly. ugly. Yeah, so like... If you're <laughs> but through bring... Vic's eyes, so... Fair, but I believe him. I, I believe him, too. Like... I believe him because he... I think he said it about one person. I don't remember who it was, but he was saying, that, oh, they're, like, actually handsome. Yeah, all the guys that he thought were handsome were handsome. Um, the guy that worked at his little paper press that came Steven? at the end. Oh. No, that Carlisle? Came... No, no, no. Those are the two guys that work there. What's his name? Brian? What's his name, Brian? Oh, that guy. bitch! I'm so glad that you brought that up because that bitch is so bold for telling him, your wife is very beautiful. She has, she's... And, then and we're gonna go writing, on a writing, bow, on a writing the poem for her that he gave to her husband to give to her. He's so lucky he didn't die. Literally? <laughs> He's like, we fucked. <laughs> all so bold and they i don't know what it was bold. about these men that were just like i'm just gonna do it in front of your husband which is like uh, <laughs> this man has murdered people i mean he, i know <laughs> first of all the first guy who got God. scared i'm the first guy that started the drama he was like you know what she's not even that hot i gotta go <laughs> she's not even that hot 
Yeah, she's not worth it, baby. My life is more important. And he lived, so. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. Because everybody else was not so lucky. When they were doing the, um, like the autopsy thingy. Mm-hmm. And she was crying. The whole court process was, did you do it? No? no. Okay. Does anyone think he could do it? No. no. You, we should literally have court like this still. <laughs> it's valid. We can just get our heads murder. Like exactly. this. And necessary <laughs> murder. It's necessary necessary. murder. Bring back legal murder. Bring back legal murder. <laughs> 2022. I don't know. I just... <laughs> Like, she pissed me off so much that the she whole so book, annoying, yeah. I was gaslighting her ass, too. Yeah, I, was, I did not like her. Like, <laughs> are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you sound like that? God, that was not her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Highsmith referred to her protagonist as my psychopath heroes, but heroes are usually characters that we admire and root for. Is Vic a psychopath? Is he a hero? How did you feel about him as this novel progressed? Yes. <laughs> To both those questions, you can be a psychopath and a hero. He did what he had to. I was gonna say he was valid. He's a psychopath, but he did what he had to. He did what he had to do. Like at what? I I get it. It was basically just an open marriage, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, a one-sided open marriage because he didn't like that shit. But but he also just didn't like having sex apparently or like he didn't like her physical in the end. Yeah, yeah, so oh yeah because at the end when she was like being nice to him and like touching him and stuff like that he, he was, was like you I... repulse me yeah he's <laughs> so <laughs> he's crazy too for staying i would have made her sign divorce papers i would have signed to myself saying no they were her mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no they were her <laughs> she signed that shit before she died was why i killed her sorry <laughs> um i think he is a hero <laughs> in, my in his eyes. own way yeah for story's sake yeah like, what else is he supposed to do? I mean, we, but we're acknowledging I that, mean, yes, what he did was like, well, that's kind of crazy. And, and but. he was okay with it. And mm-hmm. he was even okay with, like, them being in front of their friends, which I would be like, Babe, That's so are you far. you kidding? Like, yeah. fucking do what you want. Go to a different little city town or whatever. And fuck around with the men in a different city. Like, yeah, like, why are... This is tiny. I know everyone. And they all ride or die for me. Exactly. <laughs> like, clearly. So if you want to do it, go ahead. But everybody else know I'm the good yeah, guy. I murder them. So. The murder scenes. Can we talk about those, actually? Okay. Because... The way that it happens was just so casual. There wasn't any, like, build up to it mm-hmm. or be like, he's about to murder, he's about to go crazy stupid. It when was he so killed simple. Cameron off the cliff, when he pushed him, I knew that was coming. I, I knew felt it, was it when coming. he asked him to get in the car. I was yes. like, oh, fuck. He's killing him. Yeah. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know how. And then when he ducked the first time, I was like, oh, my God, they're going to have a fight. And then they're both going to fall off. Yeah. And I was so gonna scared. Happen. It was going to be the end of fucking. Yeah, Vic, I was scared because he <laughs> describes him as a little bigger man. So I was like, he can't. I was going to be the end scene of Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> and I said the end, and you're like, oh, Vic, yeah, he's going to be dead. <laughs> He, like, pins Melissa, Melissa, Melinda on the bed, and he's like, you're not fucking going anywhere, and she kicks him, and he, like, knocks oh, the back of his yeah. head. I thought he was gonna pass out. He's so crazy, I would've ran to the police, and I'd be like, domestic violence, <laughs> like, arrest her! But he's crazy, he likes that. Yeah, I know, he's a little too crazy, though. See? And then he would've been like, arrest her! When he, like, smiled at her, and he was like, <laughs> I just bumped my head on the counter. <laughs> yeah. He's like, mm-hmm. I just hit my head off. My little scalp. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. What are your thoughts? <sighs> oh, I just actually thought he might have got caught on this one because he was kind of messy with it. Yeah. So I was scared for him at this point. I was. He is gonna go to her or go to the cops and be like, "She hit me, <laughs> and she thinks I'm murdering people. She just trying to murder me." <laughs> yeah. I could have easily done that. Mm-hmm. Fuck, big. But like I'm saying, though, I think he was just literally at, at the, the end, end of his fucking string. Because... Well, yeah, like Joe from you. Yeah. <laughs> like, he literally is just dealing with so much, and he just mess, gets oh, messy yes. and gets crazy and goes stupid. Yeah. So, I mean, how how crazy can you be? There was a buildup. Because, no, literally, fucking, he couldn't, there was no break for him. Yeah. Like, after like Charlie after died, the they had that little, like... It was okay, there were people, yeah. in a, okay in the sense that nobody, she wasn't bringing anybody around. <laughs> she was scared for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah, that was it. So, how much could he literally take? He'd been mm-hmm. taking it for four years? Three years? Too many. Too many, too many. Because, you're right. 
the only thing that like really bothered me about it because it was like do what you want baby like if he's okay with it he's okay with it if he's okay with it he's murdering bitches but okay <laughs> <laughs> if he's okay with it do it somewhere else why in front of his friends like these are his friends that's fucked up yeah and you're bringing them to his house knowing that they're siding with him like you're yeah. you look so stupid I think, and her thing, too, was, like, I want to prove to these people that he's not a good man or whatever. But, like, she not was just worth it at the end. stupid in the way that she was trying to do it. I feel like, well, obviously, the end of the book, like, they know that he was murdered. Mm-hmm. Or he was a murderer. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they're still going to be like, okay, we love him. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I would. Horace. And they Horace all. Horace is the down bitch. Yeah, he's going to be like, what do you, you mean? Know what? what do you mean? No, I don't believe it. Yeah, he's guilty. He was proven guilty. He's guilty. He's innocent. But, um, <laughs> Even he is guilty. He's innocent. I don't know. I feel like they would have just been like, it was valid because we hated Melinda and we hated her lovers. She drove him to it. That's probably what their thing would be. It's like, mm-hmm. he would never have done this if it, it wasn't, wasn't for Melinda. Her. And you know, what? Dude, let they're right. Them, let them. <laughs> they're right. They're right. So, without wanting to give anything away, at a crucial moment in the book, fantasy starts to become reality. Did this shock you? How does Highsmith prepare us, or not, for this moment? I felt like I knew it was coming, but just the the quickness of how it came, I was That's like, oh, I mean. fuck. Yes. Like, here we go. When I was saying, like, even the murder scenes, I just, anytime anything crazy happened, I was like, this just seems like a regular schmegular day and makes me think that murder is okay. It's just happening. Because yeah. it's just like, oh, I that that's a thing that should have happened. Like, that's the route that should have we should have taken, and we took it. We took it, and now we're here. <laughs> so we're here. <laughs> the no, like, consideration for I might get caught in the way that I'm doing this, there's no preparation for it is what shocked yeah. me. But the, it, the murder itself, no, did not shock me. Because I know, I know he's a psychopath. I know, I get it. But also, I was like, okay, this is, like, in the heat of the moment. Like, mm-hmm. he's not planning, like, oh, I'm going to kill this guy, and this is how I'm going to do it. Like, mm-hmm. he obviously had that thought about the other guy. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't, like, I don't know. And they disappeared at the party, too. They were locked in that closet. I would have been so embarrassed. I would have been, like, I'm killing both of them right now. I'm right now, my fucking gun right now. I'm running them over my car right now. I'm yeah. drowning both of them. And yeah. everyone's just going to watch and clap and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then I really loved, actually, about the writing of the book, is how we got everything that was being said between everyone. And then mm-hmm. we got, like, his thoughts. Inner monologue, yeah. And I was, like. <laughs> I liked that. I enjoyed that. Deepwater is set in a small New England town, Little Wesley, Massachusetts, and the novel builds up quite a detailed portrait of the town and its inhabitants. Baby, I don't know. I don't know. Pay attention to that. Yeah. What role does the setting play in the story? Could there be, could the novel have been set in a bigger town and city? Yes. I feel like that actually would have caused more problems if it was set in a bigger town. It would have been easier for him to get caught. Mm -hmm. Because everyone in that town was ride or die for him. That's literally what saved him. Because if, at the thing, they were like, oh, we don't know. He was know. out there he's with him. He's kind of like, yeah. He's kind of, I mean, he's valid in it. That's his life, and she was sleeping with that guy, and he was out there with him last. Mm-hmm. Then he came inside. And murder happened. And then the mayor was dead. So <laughs> I, I think he could have. But they were but, all like, <clears throat> no, no, he would never. Never. He came mm-hmm. inside to do a sandwich. And had they not found the guy who did the first murder, then the, I feel like everyone would have been like, you're right. We find out a lot about Vic's various obsessions, from bedbugs and snails to his boutique publishing press. <clears throat> what do these obsessions tell us about Vic, and why does Highsmith devote quite a lot of time to them in the novel? I feel like she just wanted to further explain, like, he is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, that sounds so bad, because I know people could have hobbies, mm-hmm. but, like, her, they didn't, she didn't say it was reading, but, like, his, like, obsession with, like, reading something and then being, like... I'm going to learn everything about this thing. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of a mentally ill person thing. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, babe. <laughs> yeah, his hobbies, like the whole snails and the bed bug thing, everyone else thought that was so funny, and they were like, they questioned him about it. And I mean, I guess I would too, but also in my head I'd be like, that's kind of weird, but he seems like a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he couldn't have murdered them. He just likes bed bugs, I guess. Oh, oh, bed bugs. And he likes snails. When they wanted to eat snails, and he's like, the snails are not for eating! I was like, oh, they want to eat his fucking snails, a stupid bitch. I didn't think, oh, uh, I just think, they're the fucking brawl that's going to break I out right here. I thought he was going to murder all of them. <laughs> but I was, uh, I was like, oh, 
because she was just kept pushing. I was like, bitch, if you Shut don't fuck the fuck up. up right now. Literally. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, oh. Mick is also so crazy for $15,000 a year. You don't have to say anything. I would not give her shit. I know. I mean, especially because he has to give that guy a pay cut. What's his name? Stefan? Oh, oh yeah. Stephen? Like, I would rather I'm take your mind more. Yeah, my no. Boys. But also, he was such a good boss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like he was so mm-hmm. like, you need a raise. Like I was like, no, I don't. First of all, I'd be like, you're right. I do need a raise. Not to be like serious or whatever, but literally look at what happens when you push someone's buttons way too much. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I made a comment and I was like, get her ass, Vic. Oh, we say. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about, it says, Vic said in a light joking tone, it's too bad I'm married to you, isn't it? I might have a chance with you if I were a total stranger and met you out of the blue. I'd have money, not be too bad looking, with lots of interesting things to talk about. Mm -hmm. And she was still like, like what, your bed bugs? (laughs) Which, I know they were getting each other and they were just like in a little fight, but I was Mm -hmm. like, girl, like this is your husband, no offense, but like if you didn't like him from the beginning. Why did you say yes? Why did you say yes? And even though he was like, I have money Mm and I could take care of her, I was also like, no offense, but, like, you can find somebody else with money that you might like. Or if you want to be with him, be with him, but also just, like... Get your shit together. I don't pretend know. Pretend you like him? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't and that even just seems like too much work. Either divorce him and live happily ever after, or stay with him and be a better person, which I didn't think she was going to do, so... <laughs> and I'm the little corner guy that was like... <laughs> Melinda... Even the doctor, he was like, Melinda, you fucking filthy bitch. Oh, we're not talking to you. <laughs> they hated her. They no, were the they really doctor. Did. The doctor yeah. and the little guy. The yeah. Co- the coroner. The coroner. <laughs> the little guy. <laughs> they were like, you think you killed your husband? Does anyone else have any theories? And they were like, no. No. So, so no. So no. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Okay. That whole process was fucking funny to me. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just shut up. I really enjoyed it, and it makes me want to read a little bit more of her work. More of her work. Mm-hmm. For real. I liked the read. It was it was an easy read. It wasn't It was an easy read when I was sitting there, but when I was trying to do things and read, because I do try to do things and read, mm-hmm. I was like, I can't. <laughs> I gotta I do this. I gotta mm-hmm. relax. So that's good. But... I do want to read more of her books. Maybe yep. we could find some for next... Next, not down the month. Next month, we are doing, for the lovely month of February, we are doing very cheesy love books. We don't know what love they are love. yet, though. So... Love wins. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be gay. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Um, we'll They see. won't be. Okay. Because... <laughs> okay, fuck. I was gonna say... <laughs> cut, cut the tape. <laughs> No, I was gonna say because we're just gonna reread. Um, <laughs> God, what movie do we read? What movie? Movie? Show? Book? What are you saying? I don't know. Ugly love? Yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we're just gonna reread Ugly, Ugly love, love so we can read about Miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's the number one man, honestly. I want somebody to try to fight him for that spot. <gasps> I want another, yeah. Oh my god, the month of February is going to be the fight month. <laughs> you take the number one spot, take the number one spot, boy, perfect man boy. of the year. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Do it, like, falling off the <laughs> We will see you guys next month. Next, yeah, technically next month. Next month. Thank, Thank you so much for watching. For watching. <laughs>